When I came over here in 1968, I used to have a Portuguese foreman. Yeah. And after two years, he retired. Yeah. And he turned around to give me the key to it. Wow. And you. Luru, so young, he said, Henry can take over. And, and that from, was. From so... there, them, and already here. So you came here when you were 18 and you started managing Before 18. Before 18. To around 18 over here because from here I had to go back to to Puerto Rico yeah. to do the, uh, the paper for the service. Yeah. Because before you had to do it. Yeah. And I came back, when I came back, the season is already over. Wow. But I stay. Yeah. And after that, to today. So, everybody, this is Henry, the bog manager for the bogs that are just north of the Horns Farm. And he told me two years ago he'd been managing this for 50 years. So I've been thinking ever since how old he must have been when he started. So that's what this is about. Hi. And today, Henry, I'd like to introduce you to Henry, my friend. You are a famous you man, Henry. <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody says. So me everywhere, magazines and everywhere. I'm so proud to meet you. <laughs> but... You're getting shorter for me because I can't <laughs> yes. ready. Yes, take take a picture. Well, I have. So, Henry, tell my friend Mrs. Wagner what's going to happen today, the rest of today with the harvest. Well, the rest of the day after we get done to beat those, because we're calling those as the cranberry beaters. After we get done to that section, we're doing it. The boys come and collect all the berries, bring it down over there with the truck, huh? That's what they call in the vacuum. From there, he put it in the truck. Soon he filled that trailer. The truck coming, another truck coming, pick it up and take it down to us in spray. Does anything yeah, further have to do with done with the cranberries before they're ready for sale? Mm, well, this go for juice. But before that, you have to do money just early. You don't have to do fertilizer. You don't have to do chemical. Oh, I know, I yes. know. So, I mean, yeah. when it goes away on the truck, fiber. Oh, that's going to go straight to covers, to the plant, and that from there, I was in spray, can do whatever he please, juice, cranberry sauce, whatever he's doing with it. Will, will okay. There be, will there be enough for Thanksgiving? Oh, yes. <laughs> but when we do dry, we have to be nice and dry. That's because that's the one here. you see in the market. Uh -huh. See, if we got a wet morning or rainy night, we, we can't even pick. So, Henry, you have do, to be nice and dry. Do you do any dry pick on this fog? No. Katomet. Katomet. And we still have maybe 10 acres to do dry. And she asked this question, how do you know when they're ready to pick, to uh, harvest? Okay, well, I figured by September, by the middle of September, we have to keep watching it. See, we got a cold night, we love it. See, get too cold, we don't like it because we have to turn the sprinklers on to protect them from frost. But mm -hmm. she stay the way like last night, we like it. Because cold night doesn't want to give it the color. I see. see, we don't have no cold night, we don't have no color. Oh. Figure before, long time ago, I figured the sun give it some color. No, the sun burn it. Oh. <laughs> you know what, I forgot. Yeah. Nothing, just sit on 